Hi guys, in this short little video today, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and whether or not it is going to go any lower. Plus, also, I'm going to take a little trip out to take a little photograph for our 2020 cryptocurrency calendar. So, let's get into it. By the way guys, I am now using the Brave Browser, so uh, Brave Browser, I'm pretty impressed with this. You can earn rewards for just surfing the internet, looking at um, adverts and all the stuff you'd usually be using an ad blocker for, but I think you now get paid b uh, basic attention token for looking at ads, which is pretty cool. And you can see here now, I've only been using this just the last few days, and I've already made up about five cents worth so yeah you're probably not going to make a fortune using the brave browser but hey you know it's uh it's just something cool and it's just as good as chrome so if you're currently using chrome then i gotta say it's really good even if you are a developer like myself so it's still got all these really cool features in there so you can get in and see all of the code uh toggle it through different things that's the ipad pro you could check it out on the iPhone uh, 10, so you can just scroll through and see it in different different views. All the standard stuff working in the coal sources, um, even the audits as well. Everything you usually have on Google Chrome is right there in the Brave browser. So definitely a thumbs up from me. I think it's pretty pretty damn good. But right now we are talking about Bitcoin and whether or not it's bottom so i did say a few weeks ago how i thought uh, it was going to go down possibly to even five thousand dollars which would have been amazing but i don't think we're going to get there now and uh, here's why so where we were well oh, if i just scroll back out here we can see we was in this big descending triangle so i very rightly did say that we were going to go down from there uh, but we came out a little bit earlier than expected and then just ended up in this sort of messy pattern here i don't really see anything if you do see some sort of pattern there please let us know in the comments down below because um, for me i've been looking but i don't really see anything much but what i do see is a very bullish signal so i was hoping to go lower my very first uh, buyback price was set at uh, 7515 and we never actually got there so there it would have been down there about 7515 ish uh, but it, we only went down to about 77 so we didn't get there but that was the low and then further on a few weeks later we hit another low which was a higher low and just recently now an even higher low again so we've got three points now on this uh, trend trend line here which is going upwards and the same here with the highs we've got uh, the high there and then a higher high and a higher high again here and most likely most likely i would imagine we're going to continue up here and see yet another higher high and in and around that sort of area there let's call it this sort of region, we're most likely to be coming across um, this here. This line is the 50 day moving average. So most likely it's gonna be hitting that 50 day moving average around that point, so around that top trend line. And also if we scroll all the way out and possibly just move this down to a daily chart, make it a bit easier, uh, you can see these previous lows here around the sort of 9,000 mark, which again, is going to be there around 9,000. So I should imagine we're probably going to be moving up in Bitcoin now up to about 9,000, hit that as a ceiling price and then come back down. But that's not all I've got for you today. So I'm also looking at the bigger picture on Bitcoin and where it's likely to go over the next couple of years and just how scared the guys in America are in the Fed, Federal Reserve and US whatever. Anyway, let's go take a look. So I was reading this article earlier on. This is about central banks realize they can't ignore crypto and digital fiats anymore. So recognize digital fiats, things like Tether, which are basically, um, anyway, we'll go on. Uh, yeah, so we've got here United States and other countries around the world. It's just a matter of time before we see massive disruption. 
there is at least the potential that new technology might lead to a new global payment system fairly rapidly. And I think that's absolutely true. So that comes from the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. And looking at Bloomberg, Bloomberg say that the, the, the Fed drags its feet as digital money challenges central banks. And this article here, I shall probably leave all these down below in the description if you want to read some of these for yourself. But again, just going through all the reasons why, look, we've got Libra here. This is a video that I really need to do a video on Libra for sure. Uh, if you want to see that, please let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, massive article there by Bloomberg and how the Fed is dragging its feet with digital currency, crypto, all that type of stuff. And then we got this one. This was from Coindesk. Top Fed official says that US Central Bank is actively debating a digital dollar. And one thing on that, guys. So right now, there's a lot of currencies, um, blockchain type currencies here. We've got Tether up here in the number seven spot. It's probably the most actively, no, probably it is the most traded cryptocurrency coin in existence. It traded even more than Bitcoin. And all it does is it derives its value from uh, the value of the US dollar. So it's a derivative just like you'd get in the normal markets. And you've also got here USDC, that's US dollar coin, and true USD, and then you've got Paxos and all, all these other ones which basically take their value from the US US dollar. And what some of these articles are saying here with the, the, the Fed and whatever it is out there in the, in the US, um, what they're looking at doing is basically digitizing the dollar. And my thoughts are, you know, you've got all these currencies like Tether right now, which are backed on. They get their value from being pegged to the dollar. So they're like a digital form of a dollar. But if the US government or whoever it is controlling all this money in the US decide to digitize the dollar, then what happens to everything which is backed by the paper dollars? How does that work? It's weird. It's weird. I don't know. So again, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on that and what you think it's going to do. Is it just going to completely devalue the dollar and will end the dollar? Or is this going to be a good idea to save the dollar and to keep it as a world economic power that it is? And I don't know if you spotted this one this morning, but when I got back from taking that photo, which I'll share with you in a moment, uh, I come across this. This is Binance Coin BNB, and I see that uh, the Binance Exchange has burned over two million BNB. So as soon as I saw that, I thought, man, I've got to get over and buy myself some Binance Coin. And luckily enough, if we just take a look at BNB here today, here we go, BNB v Bitcoin. You can see it's definitely been going up recently, and today has been no exception. So we're up higher on BNB. So that was a great trade there with BNB. And if we have a look on Binance right now, we can see that everything is up over here. So this is basically everything traded against Bitcoin. And you'll notice that everything, all the alts are coming good. So um, is this because Bitcoin's going down or are we heading into alt season at last? Everyone's been talking about it. We've been in a bullish Bitcoin season for a very long time. I know everyone which has invested with me over on Satoshi's Minds, you know, has had not had the best year as these alts have really been devastated against Bitcoin and um, really suffering there. But could we at last be seeing um, the alts on the rise? Now, let's go check out Bitcoin to see if Bitcoin has gone down. So if we have a look at Bitcoin, you can see that, in fact... Bitcoin's actually been going up today. So if you see that on a four hourly chart, you can see Bitcoin's made some progress as well, which means Bitcoin's up and also all the altcoins are up even more than Bitcoin. So they've gone up against Bitcoin. Bitcoin's gone up against the dollar. Plus, then you've got this with the, uh, the Fed and everybody talking about how they're not happy. Even the Fed is not happy with the current payment system. There it is right there. So we're talking about the Federal Reserve. And they're very fearful of Facebook's proposed stablecoin Libra as well. So they can see it coming, guys. The writing is on the wall. Cryptocurrencies are definitely going to be here to stay. In fact, I probably know more 
older people now, sort of 40s, 50s, 60s, which are getting into cryptocurrency right here around me, you know, just friends, family, people that I know, general acquaintances, which are now getting into cryptocurrencies. And these are not the types of uh, techie type people that you might expect. This is just anybody, you know, nurses, office cleaners, general like carpenters, woodworkers, everybody. Is, seems to be getting into cryptocurrencies not because they know me but because they're hearing about it they're getting into it and probably the the older generations because they've experienced deflation over the years they remember when you know a pack of polos you know some sweets was like 10 20 pence and now it's like a pound so they've seen this through their lives they know what's going on and they're getting into crypto a lot more i would say than the millennials the younger generation that you would think would be embracing this technology more. But I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Anyway, now let's go and have a look at how I went about taking this photo for the crypto 2020 calendar that we've got coming out soon and how you can get involved and actually post a photo to get in that calendar yourself. Anyway, so I made an early start this morning, got up nice and early, drove all the way down to the pier in Swansea where I was expecting to see a nice sunrise shot, probably a bit cloudier than I'd have liked. Hey guys, I thought I'd show you what I've been up to lately, just trying to take some photos of sunrises, that type of thing. Harder than it looks, the sun is over there somewhere but hidden behind the clouds. I just thought I'd show you the setup, what I've got going on here. Here you can see the very cheap Sony A5100, just on a cheap little tripod there that I got off of eBay. And uh, just trying to take some long exposure shots of that, generally of things like uh, this Litecoin over here, which is uh, just got a bit of blue tack or white tack there stuck on the back just to help it sit right. Um, I did try just balancing it in the first place, but uh, I ended up using some blue tack instead. And hopefully, hopefully this shot this morning, there should be one in there which is okay. I'll be honest, most of the shots, as you can see, it just all went behind the clouds there. So I'm not sure if there's actually anything decent, but I'm just going to head back now, take a look at those photos. And you never know, one may actually make it into the calendar. Good enough for an amateur, probably novice like myself. So in the end, not a bad image there at all. I wasn't sure exactly what it is that I had until I got home because the long exposure shots, they take about 20 seconds uh, to take each. But anyway, the calendar itself, uh, I've put some sample images right now just to sort of pad it out a bit. You can see here what we've got. That's the that's the main picture that I showed you in the last video. And then this one I really don't like. This isn't going to be in the calendar, but uh, I just threw it in there as I've been trying. You can see I, that's way too blurry and, and quite terrible. We've got another one there that I've taken. Um, I do quite like this prediction here. So the US dollar dies 2025 possibly as you can see from what i've been saying today that could well be on the cards maybe 2028 at the latest we'll see and if we go down here we got march this is the one which you just saw now that's the one i took this morning and in march you can see all the events there uh, all the sort of blockchain that's blockchain week there in hong kong and then we've got token 24 as well blockchain week and yeah so Basically, I've just been busy putting in some photos there. I'm going to have to take some more. I've got um, a big list of photos that I'd like to take for this calendar. Obviously, weather dependent and we've only got a few days left. And if you yourself want to be getting one of your pictures into this calendar, that which will be going to get imprinted. It, I was hoping before Brexit, but I, I don't think so now or the way it's going. Who knows what's going to happen with that? But all you'd need to do is just take the photo. Uh, bear in mind they are kind of squarish. So a lot of you guys which have posted photos already on the Mutra Ninja Facebook group, uh, you'll know that like this one here by Pat, which is a great photo. I really, really do like it. But because the calendar images are going to be square, only like the top monkey in this one would actually be able to be... Uh, in in the image so but still great photo pat i do like that and uh met pat at a um crypto event here in the uk so 
where we've got all these events on I'll be trying next year to get to as many of those as I possibly can myself and here we've got another one here again because it's just a square image probably would just only be able to take those uh, middle middle paratroopers or <laughs> or whatever you call these guys I've never never wanted to jump out of a plane uh, and then we've got this one here by Ed West and I've got to say I did quite like these myself my, my pers personal preference because you've got so many different currencies in there and uh, lots of different shots to choose from my personal favorite now I did look quite like the close-up and uh, quite interested in some of these other currencies down here that I don't know I suppose a lot of them probably aren't worth anything at all anymore which I think sort of has a message in there I like that but yeah I also like this shot I think that it's got quite sort of a distorted wide angle type look about it um, but I think it's more to do with the angle that it was taken from than an actual wide angle lens but I do I do quite like that shot I think that's quite nice so yeah if you want to add in some photos if you think you can do better and uh, create a great image that we can stick in there then we'll be sending you free Three of the actual calendars once they get printed up uh, probably next month in November we'll be sending you free for free okay so uh, just as a little thank you for for doing that for us and sending you us an image you'll also be able to get some text on there just to say like uh, that it was your photo and maybe a little description of where it is or something something like that whatever you like so yeah that's what it is that we've got a little photo crypto competition you can jump in on and also if you do have an opinion on where bitcoin's heading then please do let me do go uh, know in the comments down below i've bought back pretty much all of my bitcoin right now so where i did sell it all off about 10 i was hoping for sort of five six ish seven at, at most least whatever um i've actually had to start buying it back at like eight thousand i think the most was about eight thousand free um ouch but hey you know profits profit so anyway let me know your thoughts and i shall see you all again in the next video